Welcome back. In this video, we're going to demonstrate motorized branch circuit breakers. Many of you know that Lintec is a leader in building AC power control systems that are customized for the installed audio, video, and lighting industries. And many also know that one of the key tools that we use to build our systems is the motorized circuit breaker. But not a lot of people know how they work. The motorized circuit breaker was pioneered back in the 1980s by Square D, which is a division of Schneider Electric. Square D's motivation was simple. Every electrical device, including switching relays, is required by electrical code to be protected by a branch circuit breaker. There's no exceptions to this rule. So if every controllable device had to be wired to a circuit breaker, why not put the switching functionality into the breaker itself? That would negate the need for separate wall or rack mounted switching devices. Obviously, this would cut down on the number of boxes on the wall or in the rack that the end user had to have space for, and it would cut down on the wiring or installation labor as well. And this is the result of their effort. A branch circuit breaker, sometimes referred to as a switch grade breaker, that has on-off switching functionality built right in. It saves space and installation costs by combining your electrical protection device and an electrical switching capability into the same package. To give you an idea, this is an existing circuit breaker. This is the size of a, of a single pole circuit breaker that you'd use in your box today. And this is the size of a switchable device. And as you can see, it's about an inch and a half to two inches longer. And in that inch and a half to two inches, that's what gives us space to build in this little motor. So with this little motor, we now have the ability to turn it I'm going to put this down on its little battery pack. We can actually turn it on and off remotely by sending a low voltage signal through this motor. So we send a low voltage signal down these wires to this motor and you can see it move the armature just about a sixteenth of an inch and that's all it takes to change the state of a circuit breaker, to turn a circuit breaker into a controllable device. Now to give you an idea, this still has its electrical protection properties. If the breaker were to ever trip and the handle were to move into the off position, you'll notice that I cannot change this device now. So it stays in the off position until, as required by electrical code, someone is sent down to visually inspect the circuit breaker, make sure, you know, correct the short or whatever issue uh, is at hand, flip it back to the on position, and then you can control it again. So that's how the, the uh, motorized circuit breaker works. Now all of the Square D motorized breakers are UL listed and CSA approved. They're time tested as they've been in service over 20 years and Lintec itself has been working with them since 1992. All Square D motorized breakers are available in 15, 20, or 30 amp denominations and in one, two, or three pole versions. So they can control virtually any size electrical load. They're very robust. The QO variety is rated for over 60,000 on, off, on cycles. That's complete cycles from the on position to off and back on again. Two to three times the lifespan that a similar relay based switch uh, live for. And they're very energy efficient. There's no holding current or heat sinks required to maintain the motors. It runs cool and lasts a long time. Once the motor changes state, it stays in that position until it's uh, changed again. The QL compatible motorized breaker fits into any standard Square D load center or panel board. So these are retrofittable if there's an existing QL uh, compatible panel on the wall. And you wire the breaker the same as any standard circuit breaker. The hots, the neutrals, and the grounds wire just like every circuit breaker out there. All you have to do is connect the end of a 60 inch pigtail. It's a 60 inch low voltage control wire. You connect it to the Lintec electronics in a sidecar. And presto, that's all you need. Uh, the uh, con the uh, driver board that Lintec makes and puts into the sidecar does the rest for you. Now, in the QO version, you can purchase the electronics from, from Lintec that allow you to control a whole series of breakers sequentially for the control of audio systems. But you can also purchase control electronics that allow you to individually address each breaker and have it turn on and off individually. And you can do that with either DMX512 uh, protocol or RS-232 control systems. So this is the standard or base motorized circuit breaker that Lintec has been working with a long time. Square D also came out with what they call the PowerLink G3. Now this also is a single pole breaker and you see that it's a much larger 
uh, breaker. And we've done a cutaway here so that you can see that it, it, it works almost exactly the same as the QO compatible. If it flips off, it's impossible to change the state. You can turn the motor, but it'll stay in an off position until it's visually inspected and reset. Once it's reset, you can send a uh, low voltage control signal and you can see the breaker change states there. So virtually identical operation. Now the G3 was designed to be more robust and networkable. That is to say that the breaker is software controlled as opposed to the hard wire connections as required in the QO compatible uh, panel. And that means that you can remotely monitor and control it over an IP network. Now we have three new features built into this breaker that are not available in the QO compatible breaker. One, if you look right here, is the fact that it now has a, uh, a status window. So you can see if the breaker is on or off internally. You'll notice that the handle does not move when the breaker state does, but this tells you if the breaker is tripped internally or not. The second is that there's a manual bypass button so that should the breaker be in an off position, you can bypass the motor by popping out this little handle and you'll see that uh, it went to an on position once that I did that. And you pop it back in and it goes back to the original state. So it has a manual bypass, a status window, and then of course the third is that the 60 inch pigtail has been replaced by this simple plug-in system. So rather than wiring a 60 inch pigtail, now this is just for demonstration purposes, all you'd have to do to make this breaker operate is to plug it into a control, um, control bus. And so, and that, so that reduces labor even more. Uh, and then again, with this new system, you can remotely monitor, program, and control the branch circuit breakers at will. To see how this system works, please view our video titled Lintec RPC AC Power Controller, and it's also available on YouTube or our Facebook page. Thank you very much for viewing this video, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.